was just eating some strawberries, but it made me wonder why are strawberries, well, why are they strawberries? Why do they look so different from this orange over here? That's because they're both made out of DNA, but this, but this DNA tells the orange to look a different way than the strawberry's DNA, both different DNA. Have you ever wondered how DNA looks? I mean, you can see in pictures, but it would be great to see in real life. So how about we go on an amazing experiment to find out how the DNA inside the strawberry looks. Also, I'd like you to meet Owl. He'll be tagging along with us on our experiment and asking a few questions that you might wonder along the way. For this experiment, we need a few ingredients, right Owl? Right. So we need these strawberries, of course. We need some dishwashing soap, rubbing alcohol, and a bit of salt. And this coffee filter. But for now, I think Owl would like a new hat. So first I'm gonna take the Ziploc cover and put three strawberries in it. You can put however you want. So, so I'm gonna like close the Ziploc cover and start to mash it. This won't work. The reason why we're mashing is so because inside the strawberries, the, the DNA is actually inside some walls and the walls are kind of made from cells. So we're just mashing all the cells well so it's easier to get to the DNA. Many people don't get it right because it's still chunky. So you might want to make sure there aren't any chunks of it. So we crushed up the strawberries. So now it looks like some crushed, um, a soggy mess of crushed up strawberries. And technically what's happening inside of them is that the cells, well, they're making a warm forming around the DNA. Well, that wall is kind of destroyed, but to destroy a bit more, we're gonna make an extracting solution of salt and so on. So what, so I have a cup of warm water too. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt inside. So, and mix it up. And then put two teaspoons of dishwashing soap inside too. So I added two teaspoons of dish, dish soap. And so I'm just mixing it up, it's all bubbly. Well now I'm gonna um, add two teaspoons of this into here because remember, it's gonna destroy all the wall of cells so we could get to the DNA. So it's my, so this is my second teaspoon. So I, so now let's just like mush it all up, kind of mix it. So now that the DNA is free from the walls, can I see the DNA yet? Can I see it? No, Owl, you cannot see it because it's too small for the human or owl eye to see. Also, each strawberry is made out of millions of cells, and inside the cells are millions of genes. What are you calling genes? Genes and DNA are technically the same thing. So now probably the genes would have come out, So, but it's all mixed up in the water, so we're going to filter and take out the water. We filtered, we got this and the left outs are here. So now I got this rubbing oil alcohol and I'm gonna mix it in with this so all the genes and DNA can come up to the surface. But remember, how much strawberry, you know, this strawberry mixing juice, how much strawberry juice you have, put an equal amount of rubbing alcohol. After mixing that rubbing alcohol, well, now all that white stuff is coming to the top. OMG, wow, this is so amazing. You see those white strings at the top? Those are the DNA or genes. Let's try to take it out with a tube. This is the gene of a strawberry. So lively. Wow, this is so amazing. Do you know that one of the the DNA in a cell, do you know if you stretched it, it could be up to six feet tall? It's amazing. That's because a gene is a polymer. So it kind of looks like an elastic stretchy thing. 
Okay, bye-bye. See you in the next video. I hope it'll be pretty interesting. For now, I'm gonna see this strawberry jean in my microscope.